Hello, my name is Greg Wainhouse from Burkitt Fluid Controls. Today we're going to show you how plant operators can predict potential maintenance requirements of their process valves just by using a standard feature found on our Type 8652 pneumatic valve island. For many companies, it's important that timely and accurate control over their process valves is important to ensure reliability of the product or service they are providing. This could be, for example, a bottling plant in food and beverage, or a water treatment facility dosing gas for pH correction. Changes to the process valve opening and closing speeds will result in poor control and therefore poor plant accuracy, potentially wasting money. Plant operators can now benefit from a feature called time monitoring function. What this does is monitor the time it takes for the process valve to complete its full actuation, starting from the time the pilot valve delivers the pneumatic air. During the initial commissioning stage, the Type 8652 will monitor and log the average actuation time. This time value is then stored within the program's memory. Should the pneumatic pressure change or there is damage to the process valve, the actuation time is likely to change. If the deviation is outside of a permissible percentage, an emergent maintenance status is generated, which is then communicated to a high-level PLC for maintenance personnel to act upon. These maintenance status do not stop the plant from running, but ensures operators are alerted to the issue sooner and that they need to schedule a next maintenance period when convenient. We will now look at setting up and displaying this feature using our demonstration board. Here you will see the Type 8652 providing pneumatic compressed air to a linear valve assembly for actuation. The time monitoring function utilises process valve feedback fed directly into terminals found on top of the unit. However, do not worry if you're not using a Burkitt process valve or one of our feedback units as any two or three wire feedback unit should be compatible. Likewise, if you already have one of our Type 8652 valve islands, but without the digital inputs on top, you can utilise our Type ME44 digital input card linked via CAN bus to the 8652 to achieve the same solution. To commission a time monitoring function, we will connect our Type 8652 valve island to our communicator software via a bus stick. This easy to use software is completely free to download and use and is also compatible with a range of other Burkitt products such as mass flow meters and process valves. Once connected, we will need to activate the actuator switching time function. This is found by selecting the valve island's module unit that is actuating the process valve. Next, we'll select actuator switching time. We now have the option to run through the auto configuration using the measurement option. Alternatively, we can manually input the values through settings. For now, we'll use the auto configuration. As you can see, the wizard now informs us that it will monitor the next 20 actuations and log the average actuation time under the current conditions. We now select the feedback actuator we want to commission. You can select multiple units, but in our case, we've only got one process valve and one feedback unit. Therefore, we'll just select the one channel. In this case, input four. Next, it will confirm you want to start the measurement process. You simply select yes and finish. You will now notice on the communicator software a notification appears in the top left. On selecting this, you will see that it's confirming that the measurement of actuator runtime is active and the system will now monitor the time it takes for the pilot valve to open to receiving a feedback signal. After 20 cycles, the notification will disappear and the setup will be done. You can check what result has been recorded as well as adjusting any tolerances. To do that, go to settings and adjust the percentage tolerance value as necessary. If needed, adjust the timeout period. This is a value in which an error message will be generated should a feedback signal not be received in a normal time period. An example could be the complete failure of a pneumatic air supply, which would stop the valve from actuating and provide the feedback. Pressing next will take you to a review of the recorded switching times, which can be adjusted if necessary. Press next and finish as directed. Now we will actuate the valve to simulate normal activity. I will then restrict the process valve supply, which will slow the actuator down and will trigger a maintenance warning. You can now see a blue advisory notification on communicator that says the switching time is now out of range. 
On the Type 8652's LCD, you can see the same error message locally, and also a blue status indicator on the attached gateway. Operators now have easy and timely indication there is a problem with the process and can take the necessary steps to rectify the issue, return the plan to accurate process control, ultimately helping to reduce wastage as well. Burkitt continue to develop solutions that help plant operators make more efficiencies and increase profitability. If this is something you would like more information on, please feel free to contact us.